Question. Do you know how to learn? That's a question asked by what is probably the best known Bollywood movie of the 21st century, Three Idiots. Directed by Raj Kumar Hirani in 2009, Three Idiots delivers some spicy commentary on education, coming of age, and the definition of success. And in this analysis, I'd like to touch on three key messages the film presents about learning and education. I'm going to relate that to an attitude of learning that is widely associated with Asian countries, and I hope that by the end of this video, you'll learn or be reminded of a few lessons you can apply to your daily lives. Ready? Awesome. Let's get started. When I was around 7 years old, I believed that my grades were the most important thing about school. My parents would reward me if I got good results and punish me when I didn't. A decade later at 17, I believed that getting into the best schools would sort me out for life. So I needed to work hard, get the best grades, get into the best college, and then I would be successful. What I wasn't told until much later was that good grades are not the only factor in achieving success. Sure, good grades are an indication that someone might be precise, disciplined, and good at picking up concepts, but it doesn't always mean that. The problem is when we try getting good grades for the sake of getting good grades, dedicating our resources to absorbing the contents of textbooks without truly understanding them, not realizing that these concepts need to be applied to real life. This leads us to the first key message from Three Idiots. Chase excellence, not success. This message is a powerful one, so much so that it's directly mentioned on at least three separate occasions in the movie. Three Idiots is about Indian college students who deal with the overwhelming pressure to succeed from parents, teachers, and their peers. Like several other Asian countries, India is known to have an incredibly competitive schooling system, with academic success inextricably linked to career success and happiness. Our protagonist, Rancho, turns this concept on its head. Rancho loves machines, and he is motivated to study engineering because of his curiosity to learn and be a good engineer. Throughout the film, we see time and again how he applies his excellent thinking to solving problems, whether it's to stand up to a bully, fix a drone for a classmate, or deliver a baby without any medical knowledge. Rancho chases excellence. On the flip side, the problem of chasing academic success manifests itself in the character of Chator, who champions the idea of memorization or rote learning, and is driven by the idea that getting good grades makes him more likely to be successful in his future. The film explicitly shows us the negative effects of such an opinion. After Chator memorizes a speech in Hindi only to embarrass himself because some of the words had been changed and he didn't realize it. He becomes so angry and jealous of Rancho that he challenges him to see if his method of rote learning will make him more successful in the long run. At the end of the film, we see how Rancho has started a new school for inventors, passing his learning ideology down to the next generation. I really like how this scene also showcases the innovation in India by displaying a few real-life Indian inventions such as a bicycle-powered clipper and a scooter-powered flour mill. Now we look at Chatur, who, while becoming very wealthy, is clearly still focused on his own material wealth, and is ironically dependent on Rancho to sign a big money deal with him. Notice how Chatur chases success in the form of big money deals, whereas Rancho is having success in the form of this deal chase him, exactly as foreshadowed earlier in the film. Success keep it Excellence, excellence ka picha karo. Success jhak market mare picha hai. It's important for us to realize that while many people still look at good grades in a very positive light, they're ultimately not as important as learning with a consistent hunger in order to understand how things work, and applying those learnings to improve the lives of others. It's no coincidence that the movie associates Rancho's success with the act of helping others, whereas it associates Chatur with selfishness and the act of pushing others down. 
In the 21st century, it's becoming more and more obvious that critical thinking is important in someone's education, and that leads us to the second key message from Three Idiots. Challenge the norm. One thing that is very apparent in Three Idiots is that the world is full of rigid structure. Everything has to fit a certain predetermined framework in order to be considered good. A child must either grow up to become a doctor or an engineer. An answer is only correct if it fits the definition in the textbook. And the better you score in exams, the closer you sit to the professor. Sir, I have a grading system. I feel like it's a caste system. A grade students, Bacha. C grade students, Gulam. It's not nice. Sir. This is one of many examples proving that Rancho is the perfect character to inhabit this world. Rancho's values are in complete opposition to the values of the story world. And so the story world is ripe for disruption. Rancho challenges the norm when what is considered normal is not very useful. This is clear from the very first time we meet Rancho, during a frat-like hazing of college freshmen. Rancho decides to avoid this hazing and when a senior attempts to harass him, Rancho responds by electrocuting him with a makeshift conductor. This establishes Rancho as someone with spunk, intelligence, and a naivete to stand up to people more senior than him. He shows these qualities again in class, where the professor here is looking for a textbook definition of a machine. Rancho instead provides him with a simplified definition. When the professor throws Rancho out of class, Rancho challenges the professor's ideals by giving him a long-winded definition of books. Instruments that record, analyze, summarize, organize, debate, and explain information that are illustrative, non-illustrative, hardbound, paperback, jacketed, non-jacketed, with forward introduction, table of contents, index that are intended for the enlightenment, understanding, enrichment, enhancement, and education of the human brain through sensory root of vision. This confuses the professor, demonstrating that it is sometimes more useful to be pragmatic than to rely on the textbook answers. This obviously makes Rancho relatively unpopular among professors, culminating in what is one of the more powerful scenes in the movie. After losing his patience with Rancho's constant challenging, Professor Virus pulls him in front of the class and forces him to teach engineering. Instead of using the book, Rancho defies convention again, asking everyone to tell him the definition of two words. This sends everyone into a panic, showing the toxic competition that exists in some education systems. The students were all concerned about getting the right answer, not knowing that these two words didn't even exist. These kinds of students may seem weird to you depending on where you live, but the desire to be the top students, to have perfect scores, and to beat the other students is very common in places like India, South Korea, Hong Kong, and in Southeast Asia. The pressure to perform academically is ingrained in the minds of many young children when they should be more concerned about thinking critically or learning how to learn. We can learn from Rancho that we shouldn't take anything at face value, and we shouldn't be afraid to question something if we think it might not be true. A simple way to apply this is to be wary of inaccuracies in the news and on social media. While structure is incredibly useful and crucial in most systems, too much structure sometimes stifles creativity, so it's important to challenge existing ideas with a healthy dose of opposition to test how you useful and robust these ideas really are. As Mark Twain said, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it is time to pause and reflect. The last key message from Three Idiots really needs no introduction. A key theme of the film is overcoming fear and stress, two feelings that can easily hamper our learning. If you've ever heard the saying, failure is the best teacher, then you'll understand why it's a problem when the film's characters are constantly terrified of failure, sometimes to the point that it endangers their lives. Suicide is a recurring topic in the film, which is appropriate because India has one of the highest numbers of youth suicide in the world. A 2018 report showed that 28 students committed suicide 
every day in India, with academic stress often cited as the reason. The fear of academic failure is very real and happens all over the world. In the film, this issue is made worse when Professor Virus constantly reinforces the idea that failing in college means you'll probably end up ashamed, forgotten, and in poverty. All this stress is countered once again by Rancho, who introduces us to the Hakuna Matata of Bollywood, All Is Well. Rancho tells the amazing story of a blind village guard who shouted, All Is Well, in order to calm his villagers. Life me kitni bhi badi problem hona, usko bolo, koi baat nahi chacho, sab thik thak hai. All Is Well, All Is Well. Aur usse problem solve ho jayegi. <laughs> With this concept, Rancho helps his friends face overwhelming pressure using the comforting assurance that things will be okay. Upon Rancho's advice, Farhan overcomes the burden of parental pressure when he convinces his parents to let him drop engineering and be a wildlife photographer. Raju overcomes the burden of fear and ends up with a newfound confidence, securing a competitive job offer in spite of his poor academic record. The concept of All Is Well that Rancho spreads is quite similar to what author Jim Collins calls the Stockdale Paradox in his book on leadership good to great, Collins describes the story of Vietnam War prisoner James Stockdale, who famously said, you must never confuse faith that you will prevail in the end with the discipline to confront the most brutal facts of your current reality, whatever they might be. This is a powerful lesson on mentality, which we can apply to school, company projects, or your personal goals. It's not enough to tell yourself everything is well and good. You also have to acknowledge the situation you have in front of you and tackle it head on with the belief that you will achieve success in the end. As we see in Three Idiots, none of our main characters tell themselves all is well for the sake of calming themselves alone. They also use it to find a courage to confront their inner demons in the present moment. So to recap, we need to chase excellence, challenge the norm, and reassure ourselves that all is well. These three lessons come into play beautifully during the climax of the film. When Mona goes into labor during a flood, Pia decides to challenge convention by getting Rancho to deliver the baby on his own. When the power goes out and Mona is too tired to push, Rancho utilizes his excellent engineering skill to design a vacuum, successfully pulling the baby out. And while you could argue that this next part is pretty heavy-handed, the use of the phrase all is well eventually helps to save the baby's life, a story beat foreshadowed earlier in the film. All is well. <gasps> This kind of synthesis is the reason why films like Three Idiots are not only exciting and heartwarming, but reflective of the many real challenges we face in our daily lives and the ways we can overcome them. After the movie's release, it was reported to have had a positive influence on the education systems of some Asian countries, including China, where one report stated that universities were prescribing the film as coursework. Unfortunately, that seems to be as far as it goes when it comes to films tangible impact which is a shame because this is a film that schools around the world can benefit from sure you could say that the achievements of the students in three idiots is the thing of fiction that these ideas could only work in movies and not in the real world and while i agree that the world can be very complex films reflect what our world could be how the people in our societies can support one another Films contain big ideas, and it's up to us if we want to make use of them or not. It's for this reason that Three Idiots holds up so well even today as a source of big ideas for students, employees, and people in general to educate themselves with. And I absolutely love films like this for having a practical message, for engaging, but also educating, and for reminding us that even in the toughest of times, all is well.
Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think you know someone who can benefit from the lessons in this video, then I'd recommend they watch this video too, as well as the movie. It's crazy good. I'll be back next time with another video like this. So until next time, take care, maximal hype, and I'll see you soon.